Climate experts told us today that the oceans set a record last month for the highest average July temperature, 62 and a half degrees. The warmer waters are putting stress on coral reefs, and tonight Jeff Glor tells us about a battle to save them. Just off the Florida Keys, these divers are taking the ocean online, and no one's happier about it than Sylvia Earle. We've invested in technologies that enable us to map Mars and Jupiter and the moon <laughs> and the universe beyond. We've been missing out on mapping the ocean. Earl, the world-renowned oceanographer, is part of a project that's documenting the ocean's coral reefs the same way Google maps out streets. In the past 30 years, an estimated 40 percent of corals worldwide have been lost. Those corals protect shorelines, fisheries, and sustain a big tourism business. Right now, it's like the ocean is too big to fail, right? Huh. Well, no, it is failing. It's up to us now, armed with knowledge. That knowledge comes from these special cameras and the Catlin Sea View Survey. They've already taken more than 400,000 images. Project leader, Richard Vivers. It's really being able to photograph the, the reef at scale. So traditionally, you'd send in a diver and they'd go and photograph using a, a normal camera, and they might be able to do 100 meters in a dive, and it would take them an hour. We can do two kilometers with full 360 data um, and 1,000 shots in less time. After visiting 20 other countries, this is the team's first step into saving coral in U.S. waters. I know what it was like. I know what's missing, and I know what can be again. It's starting here in the Florida Keys, and it's working here. We just need to give it a little more time. A little more time and a lot of new technology, taking our understanding of the ocean into a whole new age. Jeff Glor, CBS News, Isla Mirada, Florida.